With volunteer projects, WWF strives to create activities that are truly beneficial to the preservation and rehabilitation of the natural environment. By bringing people who have spent their lives in more urban landscapes and introducing them face to face with the forest, it is hoped that their eyes will be opened and attitudes changed about the role the individual plays in environmental protection. In April 2008, one of the first such programs of its kind was put into action in Cat Tien National Park in southern Vietnam. Within Cat Tien National Park can be found a rich and diverse tapestry of biological diversity. The forests harbor the only population of the Javan rhino found outside of Indonesia and an abundance of rare and protected animals. The lake in the center of the park is the site of a Siamese crocodile reintroduction program and is the only place in Vietnam where the animal can be found in the wild. This area is also home to a plenitude of bird species who rely on the wetlands and the abundance of fish in the lake. When the first group of volunteers arrived, they were ready to learn more about the natural environment. Being in the heart of the forest, physically working to preserve and rehabilitate it would truly be enlightening. The 15 volunteers came from all over Southeast Asia to Vietnam for an experience that none would soon forget. On the first full day in the park, the volunteers had an early start. After a quick boat ride to an island in the middle of the park, they were trained for their first task at hand, to plant the 1,000 trees kindly donated by their company. They were trained on how to properly place the seedlings in the pre-dug holes and to carefully bury them and pack the dirt tight to assure a healthy tree would grow. After a full morning of work, the volunteers had lunch and a bit of an afternoon break, where they were free to wander through the ancient trees and rest for a bit by the river and its volcanic rocks. After lunch, it took the volunteers just a few short hours to complete the task of planting. The group was surprised with a sign commemorating their achievement, which would announce to any future visitor of the hard work they had put in. The sign, of course, secondary to the fact that the trees themselves would grow, with further nurturing by the park staff, and be a lasting monument to their generous labors. On the second day, the volunteers set out on a three-hour hike to the lake in the center of the park, affectionately called Crocodile Lake, getting its name from the Crocodile Reintroduction Program there. Along the way, they were taught about the ecology of the area by the head park guide, Mr. Zuyen. It kept water for the seed growing for a long time. So Vietnamese, we call Ui. That afternoon, they began their new task, clearing the invasive mimosa plant species. The quickly spreading plant, with its tiny needle-sharp thorns, has in recent years become a real problem to the native plants and animals in the area. The volunteers were given protective gloves and taught how to use a machete to strike down the South American invader. After a full afternoon's work, they spent the night by the lake hoping to catch sight of a crocodile and watching the birds as the sun went down. Awaking to dawn by the lake was truly inspirational for the morning's work to be done. And by lunchtime, the group had cleared a significant area of the harmful plant. Next on the agenda for this group of volunteers was to help out at the rescue center in the park. Cat Tien National Park has been donned the responsibility of caring for a number of animals, from bears to birds. With no additional funding for this work, the rangers have been doing the best that they can, and the volunteers' help is greatly appreciated. While some swept out the large bear enclosure, others had the task of clearing weeds and vines that harbor mosquitoes which attack the animal occupants. All in a day's work and the center was looking good. The success of this volunteer program was seen on many levels. A group of strangers, connected only by the company they worked for, really came together as a team to achieve the given tasks. They had a chance to see nature firsthand. They were able to use their own two hands to do something truly beneficial for the environment.
The efforts of the volunteers greatly helped Katia National Park by giving staff more time to focus on other activities. They left with a feeling of accomplishment, but also wanting to do more. Uh, we just hope that the little that we have done, we will just contribute to you. And we believe that we actually bring home more than we contribute to the park, actually. It is the belief of WWF that this experience will stay with them long into the future. As they re-enter their urban world, the seeds planted here about how actions we take in our everyday lives affect the world around us will grow. And in the years to come, they may come back to show their children how they help to rebuild a forest. The WWF Corporate Volunteer Program is a way for anyone to show their personal commitment, as well as that of their workplace, to preserving and rebuilding the natural resources of the planet.